Now, I know a lot of people have already quit playing Madden 23. EA pretty much dropped the hammer on the addicts that were left that were buying packs and spending money still this late in the season, treating them like crap. But you guys got to understand that it's money first with EA, then it's packs, and then it's whatever else, right? <laughs> they don't give a damn about gameplay. They definitely do not care about you. They'll coin wipe you if they feel like you're doing something crazy. You might not even be doing crazy and they'll just coin wipe you. So I stay away from Ultimate Team. I know I should be playing it for the content. However, man, I open that store and I just feel like I'm in a casino in the house. You can never beat the house, son. You know what I mean? That's how I always feel about it. But I do know a lot of people want to keep playing that mode still. And it's, it's a damn shame, man. A lot of people addicted to it and it's not good. Anyway. So I'm going to show you guys classic blitz. I've shown this probably at the beginning of the year, maybe once or twice, but three, four bear from the three, four playbook. Now it's interesting because the three, four odd or the three, four playbook has the three, four odd under over really good plays. It's got the two, four, it's got three, three. It's got two, four mug from nickel. Um, it's got also got dime two, three and dime two, three sandwich has the DB fire in it. And it also has quarter with the DB strike, but this is a different variation of the DB strike. It's not the same with I run, but you have under smoke. You have the cover four variants if you want to use those. However, I probably wouldn't use the quarter variation in this playbook, but the three, three got those plays, man. It's got LB blitz, cover three, cover four drop. So you can run pretty decent, decent defense. However, with the three, four bear, I use this play religiously to send a lot of pressure and then fake a lot of pressure as I'm going to show you today. Now, as far as personnel, you just want to put faster linebackers in the lineup. So over here on this side, we have, who do we have? We have white. I'm going to take white out. I'll put a different linebacker and then over here, I'm going to go ahead and put white and then I'll put Barrett somewhere else. So you can put him back in this position. You could cross him. It's, it's whatever. We just need the we just need the speed right on, on the edge. And then over here on this edge, we have a uh, strong safety, but we want to go ahead and put either bunting or McCall. Let's just put bunting. All right. Now, name of the play is the cover three from the three, four bear. I'm going to turn auto flip off and then I'm going to flip the play. So cover three flipped right here and then i mean you could go against whatever but i don't know I, did i do the controller select right man I, I don't think i did let me make sure i did it right where's the options controller select okay yeah now now we're good okay so we'll just pick a play for him uh let's go uh i mean if you want to do under center you can doesn't matter this play just screams bro okay we'll do jet six soar but like i said like i tell you guys this play right here is designed for long yard situations however you can scare your opponent and then fake it i'll show you guys what i mean so first thing we're gonna do is baseline wire triangle left stick to the right baseline it's gonna bring everybody back to their default positions then we're gonna blitz all linebackers okay right on the d-pad right stick down for blitz all okay and then we're gonna crash everybody down so left on the d-pad right stick down now you see where i'm messing i messed up right here you want to be on the guy that's the curl flat okay because here's why Pay attention to the right side of the screen. When I start to press wire triangle left stick down, and then I keep pressing, these guys come down to the line. Now, this guy shouldn't move. He should come right back over here, but it is what it is. And then I can just stand over here. Now, this guy should come down to the line, too. The guy that's on a blitz, that's what I'm saying. I messed up. So if we snap the ball or they, they snap the ball, he'll get something open instantly. But for the most part, man, I'm telling you, um, this is for long yard situation. We kind of messed that up because of the way it got set up. But let's do this now. Base the line. Blitz all linebackers, press, press, press. You see how everybody goes down now, right? And then you can come stand in the middle right here. You can stand on this side, anywhere on this side. Left side, right side, doesn't matter. Snap the ball, come down, and you'll get people screaming pretty much damn near instantly. Now, if you don't want to flip the play, okay, you can keep it regularly. You can flip it back to its original default position. Base line, press, 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 blitz all linebackers, right? Press, press, press. Make sure you blitz all, blitz all linebackers first and then press. And then what you could do is you can spread the D-line, okay? Spread the D-line, and then you can spread linebackers to get them outside. So if you feel like a mobile QB is going to run outside, you can do that as well. And then you'll still get people. I mean, it's insta pressure against long yard situations. So let's flip the play again, face the line, blitz all linebackers, press, press, press. And let's leave them on the line right here. And we snap the ball, boom. And you'll notice that someone's coming in free every single time. Now, another thing that you can do, once you press, 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 you can do this, base line, blitz all arms, press, 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 shift the D line, crash them right. Crash them right, crash, crash them left, doesn't matter, boom. And what's gonna happen is you'll get people off the edge. So remember, crashing right, crashing left, depends on where you're at in the situation. Again, we can flip the play, base line, blitz all linebackers, press, 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 
Uh, we can go ahead and crash the D line left if we want. This guy didn't come down. Okay, there we go. We want him down right here on the line. Boom, off the edge. Now you just, I mean, it's instantly. My man doesn't even have time to drop back. So right there against this formation would probably be best if you ran it stock. Base align, blitz all linebackers, press, 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 press till he comes down. I don't know why this, okay, there he goes. You got to keep pressing until they do. Crash the D-line to the left. Snap the ball, engage this guy, boom. And then it's just, like I said, it's money. Now, you also have to understand that it works differently against different formations. So let's just say we want to go to like a gun formation, right? Let's say they're running gun and it's third and 15, right? We'll run it stock just to see what kind of vibes we get. And then we can go against like uh, the Trey Y flex and then we could do PA crossers. Now, remember one of the things that people running a lot of play action is to pass commit so they don't worry about the play action. So base align, blitz on linebackers, press, 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 press. Okay, now it's just acting weird, but it is what it is. It happens, okay? And then you come over here, you pass commit, RB, R1, right stick up. Okay, it's not making me, letting me make adjustments. Come on, baby. Fix the damn game, son. Boom. They'll ignore that. They'll go straight for the quarterback. So damn near the camera angles don't even get the shift. That's how fast it comes in. Again, base line, blitz all linebackers, press, 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 press. If this is starting to happen to you where they're they're getting out of, you probably have to flip the play. This is what I'm saying. We usually flip the play so we don't run into this problem right here because it's terrible when you're running into those problems. So let's just try it one more time this way. Pass commit if you think it's play action. Hit this guy, engage him, and these guys are automatically there. It's, it's not a lot you can do, man. It's not a lot you can do. So now let's go ahead and flip the play. Base align, blitz all linebackers, press, press, press. You see how it acts different now? It's a whole different setup, different scenario. Pass commit, boom, and right for the quarterback. So even in block running backs in that situation where we cancel the play action, right? We flip the play, base align, press, press. You see how this guy doesn't want to press against the trailer flex? Interesting to see. You could actually, what you do is just blitz this guy and then user this guy. So it'd be not see that you, but he's slower. So be careful. So let's say they block the running back. Boom. Hit this guy. And you shouldn't get someone. I mean, you have two or three people instantly. But like I said, personnel matters. Speed matters. All that stuff matters. Now, another thing you can do is you can base a line, right? And then you can fake it all, right? You can press, press, press. These guys aren't going to move because they're not blitzing. So you have to be careful knowing how to do it. You can leave the coverage out there just like this. And then you have a... a a decent cover three coverage with the guy screaming pretty much because of the pass rush but remember when you're base aligning in these defenses remember okay because if it's me you're, i'm if you're showing me this and i'm playing and i'm using the trade wide flex all i'm gonna do to you and this is what you need to understand is i'm gonna leave be the where he where he's at and put y on the out route now this control is broken i'm gonna try to get this pass off boom right here okay no matter if you shade up or down that guy is gonna always be open and if it's Tom Brady throwing those routes to Mike Evans or Godwin, you're going to get cooked more times than not. So be careful with it. You can fake it all. You can run it. You have the, you had a variation with the three red cook, but I don't know. Did they change it, bro? Is, is this the different cover three variant from the three, four bear? I could, rem I could have swore there was a, a variation with the three red cook. Someone school me on that in the comments. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.